Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. In the last episode, all right, let me lower my mic all the way down here. There we go. Good distance away from me. Um, in the last episode, we finished up Chie's storyline and we did start Yosuke's. So we're continuing right where we left off. I can hear a lot of people talking from far away. Where am I? Am I at a desk? A what? This looks like a normal one. Use my head slowly to find myself at the same old desk with the sun setting filling the room. Man, my mind isn't thinking straight. Wait, what was I doing? Shoot, did I doze off? <sighs> I should hurry home and get to work. All of a sudden, the sound of cheering echoes from the outside. Students in the classroom all join the cheering and rush out the door. The hell? Seriously, what's going on? I to the window and look down into the schoolyard. There in front of the school gate is swarming with students. What's going on? Look around, but there isn't anyone left in the room to ask. I want to be a rubbernecker just because everybody else is. What? Never heard of that in my life. I have to find out what's going on. After some internal debating, I decided to take a look. Alright, let's see. Okay, everything is not normal. The giant crowd at the school gate. It itself has some funky decorations and a big ass sign. You won Grand Prix? I've seen those words somewhere before. But where was it? Where did I see it? My mind's all hazy and can't think. Whoa! Now what? Do you think it's funny causing a commotion like this at school? I better see everyone involved in this heading home right now. Trying to see where that whistle came from and see a female student standing there. Like a megaphone? She has a long ponytail and strong willed eyes. Damn, she's really hot. How did a girl like this end up in our school? How did I not know about it until now? She really stands out, but. I don't think I've ever seen her before. Where did they get this huge set? Some people are always up to shenanigans. You can almost see the anger baking off of her. She definitely has a lot of spirit. And yet, one of the other students has it so as much turned around. She gets ready to blow her whistle again when her eyes meet. Uh, hello. Oh, it's you. The Grand Prix contestant, Yosuke kun I mean. Captain Ressentiment. Oh, oh, right. I remember now. P1 Grand Prix that showed up on the Midnight Channel. Use the Sister Complex King and cheese the Carnivore. I'm Captain Ressentiment. A fantastic nickname. I just want to go kill myself. Ah, uh, the hell came up with this crap? The hell is the P1 Grand Prix anyways? Tell me, it's being held at school? You're fast enough to be in part of it, huh? Well, listen up. You better cut this crap out quick. The student council didn't approve this. Huh? The student council? Come on. Don't tell me you don't remember who your student council president is. No. Student council asleep. president? Prominent position like that, there's no way I wouldn't remember her. Oh, here we go. Is that Rise? She's here at school? They're even using the school PA system. How many times do I gotta repeat myself? This is your last warning. Stop this at once. <laughs> oh no, it's Miss Sourpuss. She's trying to stop our fun. Everyone, get her out of here. Therese gives the order. Little students turn around to look and, and they rush straight at us. Jeez, not a single one of them gave a damn about their president up until now. Huh? Hey, you're kidding, right? Dude, Risa, do something about this. What are they trying to do to us? I'm not gonna start anything crazy here. This probably isn't the time to start taking things easy either. At the very least, I should get this girl to safety. Turn towards her. Surprisingly, she's standing her ground in face of all the students. She's definitely staring back at them. 
As the president tosses her megaphone aside and slightly taps one of the charging students. He slams to the ground if a truck had hit him. The students soon meet the same fate. It's like they didn't expect her to do anything. Well, I know it. Student council president is the only one left standing. That's amazing. So much for that. Then how about this? And Rize speaks. The monitor above the girl's head starts swinging back and forth. You're joking, right? Body moves out of instinct. I anchor her aside and show her behind me to protect her. Look up and the giant monitor is right in front of my face. Oh shit! Ah! Instinctively. Huh? Am I dead? What was that you did? So you should know. What, Yosuke? You're smart. You should know that your persona only comes in the TV channel. So, please do not think this is the real world. Let me open my eyes to see someone I know very well standing before us. Other me, my persona, Drya. Monitor was cut right in half. Two pieces lying on either side of us. I was able to summon my persona. Huh? Wait, isn't this Yasugami High? You can only summon personas inside the... Hey, that's right. Oh yeah. Finally remember everything. Jump to the side of the TV with you and the others. Wait. And who is this girl? What the heck is our school doing inside the TV world? I'm sitting there confused when Reese's voice chimes in from the PA system. You should have just died. Whoa. What? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for people around you. Reese. That was definitely Reese's voice. I guess she's inside the TV too. I never expect her to say anything that cruel. What's going on here? I won't let you destroy the school. You're in the announcement room, huh? Well, wait there. I'm coming for you. Hey, what are you going to do? Student council president starts running towards the school building. She turns around and waves. Thanks for saving me back there. And no, no problem. Can I get your number after this? No. Oh, worth a shot. I got scared for a second. Ooh, I got scared for a second that I wasn't recording. After all that glaring, it's the first time I've seen her smile. Oh, she's cute. For that, she runs off again like the wind. And she thanked me too. I've got an end. No! Bad Yosuke! There's no time to get hot and bothered. Wait up. It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this! Uh... Uh... Yeah, your... Item is me? <laughs> really impressive, the way she was tossing those people left and right, but... It's too dangerous to run around here without a persona. Besides, like this, the TV means... As I try to chase after her, the PA cuts into my tra train of thought. Students watching are all looking this way. Wait, does she mean this challenger is huh? me? But first, the general has a few words for you all. Here we go, General Teddy. A nearby monitor turns on. Teddy is on it. This day has finally come. I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix. Teddy, you bastard! What are you doing? You disappeared and we bring out his opponent. Hey, listen to me. Here we go. Smoke shoots out, enveloping everything. Wait, someone's stepping out of it. You, right? Chie. You're all ready for this. Chie? Oh, it's Yosuke. Let down. Jeez, sorry it's only me. Hey, what's going on here? Risa and Teddy both seem, uh... Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Jay's acting weird. Okay, she's always weird, but this weird this is weird even by Chie standards. Her eyes are glittering and she's the hell? Why is she looking at her lips while staring at me? Hey Yosuke, 
Can I eat you? Uh, huh? Sure. But I die. What? Would it be better to fatten you up first? I'm not a fan of stringy cuts. What are you talking about? You. What are you saying? I, I mean, seriously. Wait a second. It's just figure of speech or for something more intimate. Oh. There's no way she'd have the guts to say that in front of me, everyone. As I panic, she strikes a kung fu pose and makes a fourfold declaration. You want to hear the reason I eat meat? Because it's there! So that is what you mean. And why are you saying that like you're quoting someone? This guy, don't worry. It'll be painless. No, nah. -uh. There's no way it won't hurt. You'll continue to live inside me forever. Why is that such a yonder a line? In your stomach. Thanks for the food. Persona! Oh boy. She, she summoned her persona? Is she serious? Like, is she seriously going to nom down a Yosuke filet? What the hell? She has gone bye bye. Damn it, I gotta fight. I need to fight for my life. There's no way I'm gonna beat her three course meal. All right, here we go. Place a bookmark? No, not, not, not right now. All right, come on. Yeah, get in that quarter. Come here. How did I not grab her? Come here! Oh, I love Yosuke. It's pretty fun. Pretty quick, too. Alright. Let's place that bookmark there. I beat her. What the hell was with her? What if a Shadow Chia was that cracked up? What's the matter with Chie? Does she go bonkers when her state god reaches zero or something? She groans and stirs from the ground. Oh, she's waking up. She's not gonna start talking about eating me again. Ow. I, I hope you've learned your lesson and never even think about attacking your friends again. We could put some distance between us and yell from ways away. My voice shook a little, but you blame me. I was really scared. You insult me, then you kick my ass. Oh, you moron. Insult you. What did I say? I remember how about was we said before the fight it was her eyes cold and sinister, like a tiger stalking her prey. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. You went on and on about how I'm a coward and a brat. When did I have time to say anything like that? You were about to eat me. What? Eat you? A crude innuendo or anything. I meant it exactly how it sounded. I was scared to death of you, stupid Chie. What? Oh, you're stupid for calling me stupid, stupid Yosuke. See, that's something a brat would say. <laughs> there you go again. You're the brat for calling me that. Here we go. Water ah. turns on. Teddy looks annoyed. Hey, we're the ones who should be annoyed with you! We're done. Jeez, what's up with this? Come on, head over to the school building. Your next opponent's waiting. I'm not doing this anymore. You're obviously fine, so I'm going home. But you can't. She ain't got lost, so she can't even move from that spot. Oh, great. Huh? Ow! There's something here! She ignores Teddy and starts walking away, but... Suddenly sits down and clutches her head. Huh? 
No one gets to leave until the tournament's over. Only the one who fights to the bitter end and is crowned victor can earn freedom! Freedom! Ugh. Emma randomly zooms in on Teddy, giving a thumbs up, and then the monitor turns off. Damn that Teddy. To actually do stuff before you start with the fancy camera work. Stuff like, oh, I don't know, explain what the hell is going on here! Ugh. I'm staring at the monitor, I can hear Chia yelling in the background. What's she doing? She's doing jump kicks, but every time she does, she stops midair before she lands. What the? That's an easy trick. It's like only punches, but midair? Whatever it is, she's pretty good at it. She knows that I'm staring at her and runs towards me. There really is a wall. A wall? I'm walking through the spot where Chia keeps getting stuck. Nothing. She looks surprised and tries to follow me, but... Wow. Looks like she really can't pass through. Is this what Teddy was talking about? Only the victor can go on or something? Just when could he do fancy stuff like that? They said that nobody gets to leave until this tournament is over, huh? We don't have a choice but to go along with this. Well, uh, guess I'll be going then. There were four of us who came in here, so at most I need to fight two more battles, right? Mm hmm. Are you gonna fight Yukiko and Yukin then? Of course not. The only reason I fought you just now is because you attacked me first. If there has to be a winner and loser, I'll just forfeit as soon as the battle starts. If I find Teddy along the way, I'll deal with him too. But you'll be trapped. Oh, good idea. In that case, don't be so harsh on your next opponent before the match, okay? You're the one who is doing that. I hope you don't start eating things off the floor when you get hungry. Why would I do that? I'll be waiting, so be careful. You too, Chie. Chie said I'm making a surprise me. She sees my shock and turns away. Ah, she feels helpless. Like the one time you and I left her behind while we went into the TV. There's no guarantee that we'd make it back, but she still waited for us. When we finally returned, she was so relieved she started crying. Anything's happening here. Yeah. I pinch your nose. She's got a really small nose, you know that? Just get out of here already! Chain boots me in the ass and I head over to the school building. <laughs> Just doesn't know how to handle being teased up by a guy. So, the look on her face, there's nothing else I could do. I'll hurry up and finish this Grand Prix. Pick up my pace, but I noticed something. There's students peeking out of the windows at me. No, not students. Take a closer look at them. They're something else in the shape of students. Cause they popped into their true forms while we were fighting for some reason. Like silhouettes. Like shadows? They don't really look like monsters. And I don't feel like they're actually hostile. I mean, they're not particularly doing anything either. They're just standing there. Are they just extras Teddy made for this drama of his? They're not any danger then. I guess I don't really have to figure them out. Still, whether or not, Pretty damn creepy. There are things like shadows around here. This is definitely inside the TV. What's going on? Why is it a school? Damn it, I don't get this at all. I have my doubts, but I keep on running. Here we go. Take a look around the halls as I enter the building. Yep, there it is. There's a monitor in front of the stairway that I don't remember being there before. This must be where the second round is going to be. I raise my voice. All right, is this the place? Bring out the next challenger. And it's infinite response. The monitor turns on and Teddy's stupid costume fades in. Hey, that's my line. Jeez, stop throwing me off like that. If you don't stop this prank soon, I'm going to make your next shift a living hell. Usually a threat like that would have Teddy begging for mercy, but just hums a little tune as if nothing's the matter. What's with him? Just Teddy? Reese's helping him out too. This will be a surprise for you? This is coming back, so I thought of this cool surprise party. Oh, but I forgot to tell you. 
That sounds like him. That sounds so like him. We saw the case last year. The TV world turned into a safe place, so... I could see that, but... Did he really make us fight? Bring up the next challenger. Watch it be you. As we're thinking of him. Mo starts whooshing out again. Or was jumping to the TV, Juness, so... I'm betting it'll be you or Yukiko this time. But if this is a surprise party for you, then it should be... You. <gasps> Yukiko! Never mind! Alright! Hey, Yukiko, I wanna ask you something. Is this some kind of surprise party? You guys didn't tell me anything about... As I walk toward Yukiko, she suddenly holds up her fan. <laughs> What's that stench? Oh! Huh? I thought there was a wet dog here. Damn! Huh? Does she mean me? A couple whiffs of my shirt, but I can't notice anything odd. I was sweaty from that fight with Chie. Still, you told right to my face that I stink really hurts. Compared to a wet dog? Sorry. Um, so, Yukiko-san, did you run into Teddy or Rise? They're calling this a Grand Prix and making us fight to see who the winner is. Apparently, we can't leave until... You're talking too much. I have about as much interest in what you're saying as I do in Plankton. Uh, Plankton? But you can't even see those without a microscope. Goku is acting strange. That's stranger than Chie. Oh, not crazy strange. She acts more like Yukiko than ever, but you'd never come out and say something that mean. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Yukiko, this isn't a welcome back surprise for you, is it? Hmm? No, it's a grand prix for you, Yosuke-kun. And given what a goddamn pain in the ass it's been so far, I can't wait till it's over. Dude, what's with the language? Have even you gone nuts? What the hell, man? Well, wow, that's the exact opposite of how she normally acts. She really is a snow black. Wait, so if that's what the commercial called her, the way Chie was acting. Oh, so that's why hers was carnivore. That makes sense now. Those nicknames have some truth to them then. But why? Because Teddy told him to act this way? They're not all crazy, are they? But the Grand Prix for me? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Now you're ignoring me? Ugh. Even if this is all an act, it's still soul crushing. Hey, listen, we can't leave here until the Grand Prix ends. You can go is really tough. So let's just half ass this. If you don't mind going on to the next round, I'll forfeit without attacking you. Oh, though if we did it that way, you'd have to fight again. I'm faster if I won and got my hands on Teddy. To make Yukiko go on ahead and have to fight everyone, even more of us. That's probably not such a good idea. Hey Yukiko, will you lose this round for me? Even though you've lost in the battle of life. Oh! Yikes! This snow black is really bad for my fragile ego. Yukiko suddenly opens her fan in one fluid motion. She smiles faintly, but her eyes aren't smiling. Wait, she's pissed at me? So what? Snow Black can't take being called Snow Black? Why is my fan so large? Why, my dear? The better to shut up that filthy mouth of yours. Well then. That's the wrong fairy tale. Ah, oh, fine. I'll end this as quick as I can, so bear with me for a bit. Wow, things are starting to heat up. Let's get this battle started. Dang it, Rize. Quit goading her on. It was being nasty in a different way from our from the carnivore, but I gotta take her on. Damn, it looks like I really have to overcome the Amagi challenge if I want to get out of here. The Amagi challenge. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's go. Place a bookmark. Yes. Let's go. Nope. 
And it should be... Nope. Not yet. There we go. Ooh, she had 106. Ooh, she got a one-shot me. There we go. She came to her senses when I beat her, so what about Yukiko? So scared out of my wits, but try to talk to her. Yukiko, are you all right? Oh, thank goodness. You've gone back to your usual self, Yosuke-kun. What? Oh, are you back to normal too? But you just seemed so eager to fight no matter how I tried to stop you. You said things like, I was taking the easy way out. I was sure that you just weren't in your right mind. Mm -hmm. You noticed that Tere and Risei-chan are acting strange too, right? I think maybe they're under the enemy's control. That doesn't sound good. Crap. This isn't an act. Be mind controlled or something. That explains a lot, actually. Damn it. Some surprise party. So, Teddy's controlling people? Or is it Teddy being controlled by someone else? Control? Who could make them act that weird? No ordinary person could pull that off. Then why would they do it to start a stupid tournament like this? Think back to what Yukiko said before we fought. It's a Grand Prix for you, Yosuke Kun. For me? Like hell it is! I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not even enjoying it! I'm not! In any case, I'm gonna go put an end to this Grand Prix. If it's just us four, there's only one more battle to go. You didn't know what was going on either, so I explained what I'd found out. And the winner can move on. Nobody can leave until there's a champion. And that's since I'd fought Chi and Yukiko, my next fight should be with you. And that would be the end of it. Oh, and one more thing. There was a student council president. She wasn't in that intro movie that aired on the Midnight Channel, and she acts like she's against this whole thing, so I don't think I'll end up having to fight her. But she doesn't know about Persona, so I can't just let her run around loose. Oh, do you mean the girl with the ponytail? Mm-hmm. You met her? Mm-hmm. When I talked to her, she said she was going to the announcement room. I tried to stop her, but an invisible wall blocked my path. Well, yeah, that's right. She said she was going to the announcement room to stop Rize. Uh, that's not good. Rize's being controlled by someone behind all of this. That girl's in danger. Really? Sorry, I gotta go. I'll end this as fast as I can and come back for you. Oh, okay. Be careful and try to help out that girl. I'm sure you can do it, Yosuke-kun. Got it. He goes, clear, strong voice gives me that extra push. Chairman sure might look stupid, but there's some third party behind this. I'd be more serious than I thought at first. Anyway, to the announcement room. Pete, don't fail me now. You don't, you don't make that plural, Yosuke. It's just feet. Don't fail me. Okay, never mind. Moving, on. moving on. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Damn it! It's supposed to be pretty easy to get to the announcement room, but it's all these stupid invisible walls. I had to take the scenic route. Finally managed to make it to the second floor. If I keep going straight, I'll get to the stairs, and then I'll be right there. Miss President. Found her! I see her running up ahead, the long ponytail telling out behind her. There was another shape next to her, around a familiar one. Over here! Over here! Teddy! Damn it, was I too late? I tried to catch up, but I ended up slamming into an invisible wall and slamming to the ground. Ow! It felt like my butt cracked. <laughs> it's already cracked. Come on! Don't pull me like that! Miss President, are you okay? Let go of his hand! That bear's not in his right mind! I shout, hoping that I can at least get my voice to reach her, but the two then disappeared through the emergency exit at the end of the hall. I knew it. I'd be strong, but Miss President isn't a match for a persona totting Teddy. She has to have been captured. He's definitely being controlled. Teddy's not to try to kidnap a girl like that. Uh, I think. I mean, he wouldn't do anything if she... Didn't want him to, at least. Where's he taking her? Is he up to something? It dawns on me. Huh? That girl doesn't have a persona. How did she get in the TV world? Yep. 
Once you get into a TV, you have to either have the power to use a persona or get someone who does to help you. By help, I mean that person would force you to. That's actually what was happening in the series of murders last year. Well, thoughts start to race through my mind. Is that what was going on with Miss President? Is she just another victim? <sighs> victim. That word brings to mind some someone else. Saki Senpai. Not someone that I liked the, in those murders. To save her, she died. This president was also forced into this world like Saki Senpai. Then. Damn it! I'll save her. Did he went through the emergency exit? He went up to the stairs, and the announcement room should be right there. As if my growing desperation wasn't enough, this stupid invisible wall only makes things worse. I just call my racing hard and begin running to make my way to the announcement room. Oh, here's where we were gonna fight you. Of winning the walls, the next spot I managed to make it to was the music room. Damn it! I wanna go up, not down! There's a familiar monitor hanging from the ceiling. This is where the next fight's gonna be, huh? This is also where we fight our first opponent, being Yosuke on Yu's timeline. Looks like you're on a roll. Teddy, what did you do with Miss President? Oh, how nice of you to worry about someone else. Let your guard down in this battle. Come on, bring out the next challenger! Here it goes. One begins blowing out as Teddy makes his announcement. The load appears. I know who it is already. There's no I could mistake that shape. Besides, by process of elimination, there's only one more person it could be. Not a go! Whoa! First thing he has to say? Ah, I knew it would be you. And Sister Complex Kingpin, just like the others. Yep. Hello, you. My partner. And his... Embarrassing nickname? Then again, Nanako-chan always was precious to you, so... Yosuke, it's true that this is a battle you have long desired. But I have something I want to say first. A battle I long desired? I thought that there would be no reason for us to fight. Until now! What? Huh? How dare you! Calling your Nanako-chan in that intimate way! Oh. My. God. What is even going on here? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. What? He's ready to kill me. I bow as deep as I can so I don't have to see his bloodshot eyes. Oh my god, it's horrible. I had a camera so I could show him this later. I'm forgetting not to go son for the moment. <laughs> it seems like there's someone here besides us. She can't use a persona, so I thought maybe she was dropped in here. Uh, you? His eyes turn dead and he raises his sword. Why would you forget Nanako? That's ridiculous. I mean, come on. Nanako san really likes you no matter what. She's always telling me how you're such a nice big brother and how you're so cool. I want to calm down so we can talk. If I avoid talking about Nanako, I can steer this conversation to some other direction. Well, Enough. You always talk to Nanako? Why? Where? What do you mean by always? What was the precise date and time when you spoke to her? The crap, I was lying, I'm sorry. What? You were lying? Are you saying that Nanako doesn't like me? That she doesn't think I'm nice or cool at all? Oh my lord. Why are you so hung up on that? Uh, for heaven's sake, I'm getting really sick of this crap. So let's just fight. We'll get this over with, okay? And then we can both calm down and talk like rational people. Smart idea. I'm not gonna hold back at all. I know you can take it. Anyway, here goes. I'm not gonna listen. I've got no choice. I'll get him to fight me and bring him back to his senses. No use of my time than trying to talk him down anyway. Uh -uh. Sorry, Nanako-chan. <laughs> that Nanako-chan. What a dummy, right? That's it. Your life is forfeit. Your life is forfeit. All right, just as I planned. I'll fix you up, partner. Damn, his eyes are scary. Oh, I'm not sure if that was a good idea, but uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, versus. All right, get away from me. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. Sorry, you. Ooh. There we go. That was pretty cool. I love Yosuke. He fights pretty cool. Battle's over. He looks up. Every day composed face. He's back to his good old self. Yosuke, are you back to your usual self? That's my line, damn it. Oh, wait, that's right. Did I seem strange to you? You know, you go said the same thing. Oh, wait, so did Chie. Hmm? Something's not right. Carnivore Chie. No black Yukiko. District complex Kingpin Yu. Wondering who'd be. Powerful enough to brainwash all three of them into acting weird, but is that what's really going on here? None of them remember what they said to me before our matches. Hell, they even seem to think that I'm the one acting all weird. Maybe it's not the case, but they're being controlled. What if I was the one being tricked here? Well, that means I'm the one who needs to wake up? I really start rubbing my eyes. Maybe I'm the one being fooled. Oh, I'm acting crazy. Opens his mouth to say something. You said that it wasn't your partner, so that was a surprise. I'd ever say that. Yeah. Good. You're relieved. It's showing his face, but I can tell. Guess we're okay now. You know, Arakami, I know is the one sitting in front of me. I told you what's happened so far. Most importantly, the victim. That is, the student council president that Teddy had kidnapped. I see. And the reason the Midnight Channel seemed so clear was because that girl was already in this world? By the looks of it. Right. I forgot how that worked. How did you forget that? That's right. There are two ways the Midnight Channel appears. And the subject isn't the TV world yet. The video's all fuzzy and hard to see. But if it's clear, then that means someone's been thrown inside. Looks like our fears were real. There was a victim already. The question is, who put her in here? Well, I don't know. But whoever came up with this is trying to make us fight each other in the Grand Prix. Maybe they're hoping we'll take each other out since they'd be no match for four Persona users at once. And as I say it, I start to really believe it's true. Whenever I talk to you, it's like my brain just clicks right into place. No, it's not just the four of us. Kanji and Naoto are probably in this too. Naoto? You saw them on the video, right? If our enemy is hosting this. They've probably been forced to participate as well. Oh, that's true, yes. Naoto's was something with an IQ of 2,000. That sounds strong. Kanji's was... Um... Beefcake Emperor? No way! I don't want to run into him! You... Can't you go on for me? I'm begging you! You've begged <laughs> me a number of times already. Can't only the winner move on? Damn it, he's ecstatic. That is hard, he's celebrating, clenching his fists. You know it. Shouldn't be a problem if you win. So if you lose against the Beefcake Emperor, you might be in some trouble. Oh, oh I don't want to be alone with him! Damn it! Fine, I'll go. This must be what they mean by you have to cover your ass for the worst. <laughs> Stop! You'll be fine. You mean me or my ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean about saving that girl. You can definitely do this. It's in your hands now. You. Sorry for talking about my ass so much. No, hey, wait! I mean, I was just a little shocked to hear that from him. Till now, he's always been the one leading the pack, followed by me. Now he's the one telling me that he's relying on me to get things done. He's trusting me. <laughs> this or complex or no, he's still my friend. Just leave the rest to me, big bro. Uh, I don't think I'm comfortable having you call me that. I'm not saying that you're my big bro, it's just... You were going on and on about Nanako-chan a moment ago, so... Oh, yeah, that wasn't you. <laughs> Try to cover my embarrassment by telling a joke, but it didn't seem to help. Uh, now I'm even more embarrassed. Anyway, leave this to me. I'll be going now. 
I'll leave a, on a high note by acting high spirits. So I wait to you and dash out of the music room. Here it goes. Sometimes I think I'm getting closer to the announce room. I hit another wall and have to take a detour. I think make it to the third floor though. And there's another wall right next to the door to the classroom. More or less an invitation to go inside, right? To judge from my past experiences, I'm up for another. I'm in for another battle. My next opponent, Emperor, His Imperial Highness. No use dreading it. There it goes. Ah, Presidente. I mean, Yoskikun. Oh my God. This president. Booyah! My ass is safe. Oh my God. Expecting Kanji, but our student council president and Teddy are waiting for me inside. So I caught up with them. There's a ton of stuff that I need to get straight. But by throwing Teddy a single question. Hey Teddy. Of most a passionate battle with one's life at risk of course there we have it yeah that's not teddy your own would have said all the fly honey bears or something all right then let's fight i'll try not to make it hurt too much but you gotta go down sorry dude <laughs> looks like you're enjoying the grand prix yosuke just like i hoped i held this grand prix just for you after all i'm glad you like it yosuke People have been saying that from the start, and it doesn't make any sense. It's only in this world that you can be serious about anything. Didn't the idea excite you? Wasn't this the first thing you thought when the Midnight Channel came on? Another problem that'll help me change. That wasn't... Oh. Can't let that get to me. That he's being controlled. Those are the words of whoever's making us fight. As he continues speaking, it's like he's reading my mind. There is no enemy. You know that, don't you? That case is over and done with. The days where you could be special are all gone. You lost everything, and you've gone back to your boring, mediocre self again. Since you were having a hard time accepting that, I whipped up this Grand Prix. I'm on your side, Yosuke. That's why I'm hosting this for you. There is no enemy. What Teddy said goes along with something else. You said it. Yukiko said it. This Grand Prix was for me. Don't tell me this whole thing is to fulfill my wishes? I mean, I know that Teddy and Reese's personas are special in that they can connect to people's minds and stuff. And Reese can do a lot of other stuff too. Is it possible for her to make people hear things that nobody's saying when they're talking? Did she use that power to set up this Grand Prix for me? Even my heart, did I really want this to happen? That's not true. You were so cool, Yosuke. You were stronger than Chie-chan, or Yuki-chan, or even Sensei. You're almost the champion. Don't worry, I'll let you win this one. You're lying! What's wrong? Both of you are acting weird. Forgot about her for a minute there. Yeah, what about her? There's nothing to do with this. I've never met up until now. I prepared that girl as a heroine for you. Let's face it. There's no way you'd get fired up enough to win if there wasn't a pretty girl waiting at the end. Prepared? Yosuke-kun? How does he mean prepared? You're just a normal girl. Wait. They didn't push her in here, did he? He didn't get her caught up in this so I can win the championship and save the dame, did he? Too much for me. There with my mouth gaping wide open, unable to utter a word. Oh goddamn way. What the hell? I never asked for any of this. How could I want any of this to happen? That preview on the Midnight Channel was pretty good, huh? It's no surprise since you came up with it. Body suddenly froze. That's right. I felt it when I saw the ad on TV, didn't I? And it was beginning. That's something I've been waiting for. Something that would change me has come again. No, that's not true. Gotta clear that thought out of my head by shouting, but now that the suspicion has snuck its way into my mind, now that it's stuck for good. I really hate this crazy situation. 
Can I honestly say that I'm not enjoying it? No, oh, that's not it. Shut up! You're, you're being controlled. I'll help you come to your senses. Oh, rough. Here we go. Teddy looks so weird in these. <laughs> Finally. Oh. oh my god. I'm getting... Can you like stop spamming, Teddy? Oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What? It missed. Come on. How is she healing? Damn! All that spam at the beginning, like, screwed me over. All that... I need to guard more. I was just not expecting the CPU to play like that. Been playing pretty passive, so... Alright, I'll take this more. Okay. There we go. Thank you for getting in the corner. Ooh. Can I? Yeah, get out of the corner, cuz. Oh. Ah, oh my god, what? Oh my god. There we go. Sorry, Teddy. I have to. I have to. You are super strong. All those things I like. Oh. I can't wait to use Teddy. Oh my god. That is insane. That is really insane. Oh my god. Teddy, Miss President, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. But what was that all about? Aren't you two friends? I just can't bear the look she's giving me. I'm confused, but not judging, so I turn away. I really want to beat up my friends. I want to believe it. First, I need to ask Teddy here what his real intentions are. Whatever I may have secretly wanted, there's no reason to put an innocent girl into the TV world. Heck, did Teddy really do that? By my lip and wake Teddy up. It's over. It ended while everyone was making fun of me. Making fun of you? What? You were the host. You had on these weird clothes. That wasn't the real me. Yosuke, even you thought that was me? Yep. <laughs> we sleep in the same futon every night, yet you couldn't tell a beast like that apart from me. We don't sleep in the same futon. Wait. Does that mean it's someone else doing this? Yes, sir. I wasn't too sure of him either when I first came across him. I mean, what are the odds there'd be two of someone that crazy looking? I keep telling you, can't you tell just by looking at me? I'm much more adorable than that jerk. Check out the fur. 
A fire! I don't really want to break it to him, but I honestly can't tell the difference. Hey, like, back up! Huh? That teddy on the monitor is a fake? <clears throat> Calm down and get him to explain things to me. He's not the journalist, some kind of copy of him, and the TV world was already like this when he got here. What the hell? There's no enemy, my ass! Oh, yes, there is! Anyway, the reason he's with the president isn't because he'd capture her, it's because she thought she was the bad guy and was chasing after him. But when she caught up to him, he said he had begun thinking of himself as her knight in shiny armor, so he was going with her to the announcement room? It made it confuse me. I've been doing my best to get myself unframed. You should have seen what a manly knight I was when I defeated Kanji along the way. Ah. So Kanji's out of the bracket? Phew. <laughs> I, I mean, if you're not the host here, then who set this up for me? You're saying this Grand Prix is for you? Uh, about that, um... Oh, here we go. Trying to figure out some way to explain, but some familiar feeling like ringing in my ears knocks the thoughts away. Not in my ears, but in my head. It's not a sound. It's weak at first, but I know it's getting stronger. It's... Risky senpai is Teddy with you too? Risa! can hear Rize, but not over the school's PA system. For her to be talking directly into my head like this, she has to be using her persona. Maybe it's just me, but she sounds like she's been crying recently or is about to start soon. I'm so glad. <clears throat> Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other, too. Oh, oh, I'm here, too. And so is Miss President. Miss President? Oh, you're right. You're right. I do I sense do one sense more presence there. there. Who are you guys talking to? Sorry, I'll explain in a sec. Hey, Risa, are you okay? The one who's been talking over the PA isn't really you, right? Of course not. I'm not that big of a ditz. I'm in the <laughs> announcement room now. General Teddy was watching me, but he left. So I'm using this chance to contact you guys. Hey, don't do anything reckless, okay? But I can't just sit here and do nothing. Not while you're all being forced to fight. Sounds all ready for action now, but... <clears throat> Considering how desperate her voice sounded at the beginning, well, she's just trying to act tough. She must have been scared all by herself. Well, duh. <clears throat> like us, she didn't know if there was ever going to be anyone else coming to help her. I'll quickly recap what I know from for her. This Grand Prix might be related to me. Actually, it might all be my fault. Huh? huh? What? What? What the? I don't know really who or what that fake Teddy is. But if it's doing this for me, a lot of things start to make sense. Teddy isn't the one managing this tournament, then that makes all the stuff he said before the fight a lie. But lie or not, it, it makes sense. I mean, even if Teddy isn't a bad guy, this Grand Prix is being held for my benefit. I mean, it's pretty much settled. <sighs> I think I have a good idea of who the poor sucker is. Do you think maybe that fake Teddy didn't leave the room? But actually just disappeared? Huh? Give me a Give second. Me a second. I'll, search I'll search for him. Here's his transmission stops for a second. I guess that's right, then there's a big chance he's already gone. Mon did not be there anymore. Here's they came back online. Shadow! That fake Teddy's actually a big shadow! He hasn't disappeared? Wow, the size of this one! I think it might be the shadow of someone who entered the TV. But why is it mimicking Teddy? That's what I can't... Hmm? What's up? Uh, the person next to you, Senpai. Is that Miss President? Yes. Something strange about the reading I'm getting off of her. Oh, is it because she's not a Persona user? No, that's not it. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Sorry, something's coming. I gotta cut off this chat now. That's fine. Just don't do anything reckless. I'll try to get to the announcement room as fast as I can. Right. I'll be waiting for you. Enemy's still around. Not a good idea if, she, if he finds out that Rize can use her persona to contact us. Make sure Rize is actually disconnected before I turn back to Teddy. Teddy, wait here. Look after Miss President for me. Gotcha. I'm always up for spending time with a pretty girl like her. Such a spaz. Not the first time to be fawning over cute girls. The one as hot as Miss President. There's a bad guy out he, there trying to destroy our friendships. Maybe you can be so easy going about this because he truly believes that nothing could drive a wedge between us. Jeez, 
What am I thinking? That's true or not. Did he take down Kanji? I can trust him to look after Miss President. Anyway, now that Rize's checked, there's one thing that I'm certain of. True identity of General Teddy. I'm sure he's my shadow. I mean, he's the only one who could bother setting up this Grand Prix just for me. I don't know why he's come back, but maybe I've lost my resolve or something. I was hoping that he would just disappear once I figured out what was happening, but I guess things aren't going to be that easy. Jeez, thought of Teddy being the culprit was pretty hard to swallow, but this is even worse. I mean, it's completely my fault. <sighs> so I'm just gonna have to pay my shadow another visit. Just as I make up my mind and try to leave the classroom, this president blocks my path. Wait, what's going on? I demand an explanation. There's no time for that. Sorry, but you can ask Teddy about it. I heard you say just a moment ago that this Grand Prix is for you. In which case, I gotta ask you as student council president, if you're going to the announcement room, you gotta let me come too. You can explain things to me once we're there. You can't come with me. It's too dangerous. I'm just gonna lay it on the line for you here. That power you saw when we fought is called the Persona. And this is no normal tournament. I'll be fine. I'm plenty strong, you know. But you can't use a Persona. And this isn't a normal school either. How can I explain this? I'm the one that said I'm going to the announcement room first. Don't be a copycat. Oh my god. Huh? That's not your problem, miss. I'm ready to give her a verbal smackdown, but the look on her face is so serious that I have to pause. She actually begins to speak with embarrassment. What she said over the PA bothered me. All that about how I get in the way. As student council president, I gotta have a talk with her about this. She mean the PA we heard when we first met her? Not worth anyone's effort? Just get in the way and cause trouble for people around you? Don't let it get to you. It was just a stunt to make the Grand Prix exciting. Wait, huh? This Grand Prix is all for me. She just caught up in it. What's the point of belittling her like that? Of course it bothers me. I like this school. You whimper slightly. Dude, she's like a different person from the confident girl I met before. Ah, fine. I guess it can't be helped. I am to blame for all this happening to her. I can't just admit it like that. I smile jokingly and hold out my hand. Then how about going on a date with me? A romantic getaway in the announcement room. Yosuke kun. All right. You're on. Oh. Whoa. And she's only going along with the joke. I asked her out. She said yes. Awesome. Wait. What about me? I want to go on a date too. You can't leave me out. Oh, sorry. You lost, so you can't leave. Don't worry, though. We'll be back soon. No. The date slipped through my claws. <laughs> Sorry, Teddy. <laughs> Miss President, Yosuke is a nice, dependable guy. Not as much as me, though. Aw, thanks for looking after me this far. I'm glad to find out you're not the culprit. See ya. Be a good bear, okay? Off we go. Miss President and I leave the classroom together. Teddy desperately tries to follow, but the invisible wall stops him cold. He keeps charging that wall, but every time he does, he just bounces off like a tennis ball being tossed against a glass window. When he finally keeps up, he waves his stubby little arms to cheer us on. Yosuke, you better not lose. You gotta protect Miss President. I will. And don't try anything funny with her. My lord, shut up. I'm not you. Teddy, well, that's just how he is. Man, I don't want to smack him, but I'm smiling all the same. Invisible wall blocks the way, as usual. I'm gonna feel real anxious. I can't let it show. I thought it would make Miss President here worry. We're making progress slowly, but surely. To keep trusting that we'll get there. I really like this school. That was unexpected. Well, I'm not surprised, since you ran for student council president. Good job winning that, by the way. Oh yeah, what's your name? My name? I mean, I can't call you Miss President forever, right? I guess your name was on the posters around school during elections, but I tend to ignore those. No offense. She climbs up, so I try to get her to open a little more, but what she says next takes me by surprise. My name? I, I don't know. Huh? I 
can't remember it at all. I've been trying all this time. But I can't even remember what I was doing before now. Same goes for my name. I completely forgot that I must have a real name too. Until you asked me about it. That ain't normal, is it? I wonder why that's happening to me. Uh, it's probably because you've been in here for a long time. You've seen a bunch of other weird things in here, right? I gotta think about it. Victims who were dropped into a world with scrambled memories with bits and chunks missing. It's definitely possible that she can't remember her name. Oh, you mean like those persona and shadow things? What are those? She seems really upset about this, but that's only putting more pressure on her. She's seen a lot. Maybe an explanation would help her calm down a little. Decide to answer every question she has one at a time. Well, a shadow is another side of you. It's what you're not conscious of, or more like the feelings you didn't want to admit you had. Everyone has a side like that, an ugly part of themselves, and most people hate to admit it exists. But if you accept it, it becomes a persona, a power that can protect you. So you have to accept yourself. I went through that once, but it seems like my shadow's back. Well, I'll just have to accept it again. Sure hope that's all I have to do. Of course, can't say that part aloud. Felt like I was confident, but in reality, I'm really nervous. How can I be smiling when I'm so worried? Crazy, right? Let's her try to gauge how she's feeling. It sounds rough. You think since I can't remember anything, the same's happening to me? Don't worry, I'm sure you're just in a little bit of shock right now. Oh, great. I got all out nervous too. Then cheer up and try to plan up the good parts. Play up the good parts. You remember that you're the student council president, right? I'm sure you just need a little help to remember everything else. You think so? <laughs> You've been a real big help, Yosuke kun. Huh? Me? Did I do something? Mm hmm. You sure have. She finally smiles. Only a little one, but it's there. Huh? Is this really the first time I've seen her smile? Ah, oh, damn. She really is cute. I get embarrassed about having fake to ask her out on a date and my feet speed up. Crap, I'm really running away from her. Talk about a chicken hearted. <clears throat> oh, here's a bookmark. But we are going to leave this episode here. And in the next one. We are going to finish Yosuke and start up Yukiko's. So, hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. Also, do remember, I do have a voice acting channel. So, if you're interested in that, the link is in the description below. Or... And the ending screen that's coming right up. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, guys. Bye bye.